Hey guys, uh, North Region Lock Picker here. So something a little different today, instead of just a straight up picking video. Um, so I'm having troubles. I've had this lock on my door for, or this knob the with the keyless entry on my door for probably about a year, year and a half now. Uh, I can't see, can't see on the doorknob which company it is. It looks similar to a quick set. Uh, I don't think it is though. Okay, so the deadbolt. Um, see if you can see that here. Gatehouse. This was a, a two lock combo set. And the problem I'm having is because uh, we've lost keys. Well, multiple problems here. So first of all, I don't, I've lost the keys for it. I uh, don't even know where they are. Haven't used the deadbolt really at all other than when we're home and in the house. Um, we'll lock that at night sometimes. But otherwise, we've been relying on the keyless entry side of it. Um, give your keys, uh, give your kids a set of keys and they end up losing them and then they're locked out of the house and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Old stories, same thing that we dealt with when we were kids. Um, but in today's day and age with these keyless entries, they're actually pretty nice. Uh, I've played around a little bit with picking these locks, sitting in front of my own door and, and trying to pick them. And they're actually surprisingly difficult, at least when they're on the lock or on the knob on the door. So uh, now we're running into issues. So I need keys for this. And I'm running into issues with the um, the core side of the door doorknob is binding up. It binds up right there. And then the keyless entry side of it errors out. So I'm running into issues, and it, every now and again it'll it sticks like that, and then it it'll come free. So I don't know for sure what's going on, what's causing it to jam up, and. Uh, I don't want it to wreck the motorized side. So what I've decided to do is tear this thing apart and see if I can't fix it. Just in case I picked up a quick set. It's just a cheap old, I believe they're key to like uh, knob and deadbolt set. It's got one set of keys in it, which is uh, awesome. <laughs> but there's really not much for instructions here it's not telling me if it's key to like i'm assuming it is because it's got one set of keys um it says that it's keyed on one side but that's about it 60 years trusted so i will be doing an opening on this um we'll probably do a picking video since i have my knob off and i'm gonna have everything torn apart i will probably open these locks up maybe do a quick picking video and then um uh re-key them or and or just put different security pins in there and make sure that i've got a good set of locks on my front door of my house so this will probably turn into a, a couple part video so i'll try not to make it too long on each one for to bore everybody so let's see if I can get this thing apart it's been a while since I've pulled a knob apart I believe I should just have to push this in Maybe it has to be unlocked to do it I bet ah, yep there it is all right so you push in that little it has to be unlocked you push that in little button on the side and uh, the knob comes off so now hopefully I can see for one what's jamming it up and it's it's happening in inside of here somewhere right there it's stuck Let's see if I can get a light you can see it's 
stuck for rotation. Okay, sorry, excuse my flashlight in my mouth, but um, so I've got to pull this thing apart somehow and try and understand exactly what it's hanging up on. Oh, there's probably somebody out there who is a locksmith and is probably looking at it going, oh, I know exactly what that problem is. But I haven't had one of these apart in a long time, so I'm not really sure. Actually, it's probably been since I was a kid that, you know, I tear stuff apart just to tear it apart to figure out how it works. That's kind of how I've always been. But I can't seem to identify any one feature on here that's thought maybe it was the push button release for the knob because it's got kind of a a wafer in there. But that doesn't do it. And it's got cutouts in there to allow for, if I can get it just right so you can see the light, to allow for it to turn. But I might actually have to take this thing completely apart, or maybe I can replace this part with, you know, uh, gut the two, or pull these two both knobs apart and see if I can make one working functioning knob out of both of them would be my ideal thing. I really like having that keyless entry. So I think that's where I'm going to try and go here. Let's see if I can get this core out of this thing and see what we're dealing with here. All right, I think... This part comes off, and then the core is exposed. Okay. And the cover is a little jiggly, not real secure, but all right. Well, let's have some fun with this really quick here. Let me grab my vise. Pause, and I'll uh, come back and we'll do a quick pick video. All right. Thanks for waiting. In your world, that was like two seconds, but... All right, 50,000 spry bar. Let's see what we got here. And find my... I'll start with a standard hook here and see what I can get out of it. This is, it's a pretty paracentric keyway, so that's probably the part of it that makes it the most challenging. Okay, I'm not getting much for feedback here. Oh, there we go, pin five, big click. I think that's pin two or three, a little bit of movement. I must have overset five, okay. Try that again. Okay, I got a little click out of that. I'm gonna wait there. Okay, he's still boned up. I'm going to try to go another click. Must be a security pin in there. Feels like a serrated pin. A lot of crunching, but I think I overset it again. Okay, I'm going to try that. Okay, a little touch three in there. There's a little click. 
one and uh, click out of one, three, it's bound up. Nice little click out of that. Four, a little click. Two might be binding, but it feels like I'm still sitting on five. So I'm gonna let off tension a little bit. I hear my other pins dropping. Okay, click past, but kind of felt kind of felt like I overset him again. Okay. Nice click out of five, felt like a shoe line. Pin three, nice click. Pin one is bound up. I'm going a little heavier tension now. We'll click out of one. see here pin two or three feels like I'm binding in there There's a nice click out of that okay pin still pin five feels like it's not set else feels pretty good but there's a little click out of five I actually felt a little movement on the core on that one okay pin but I felt pin four binding up but maybe I was wrong three slipped off the pin nice click out of three there we got her open I think there's some security pins in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, pause. I'm going to move my vise and an old gun. All right. Got these screws from the doorknob away there. actually serve its purpose. Well, I pushed it a little ways. Stabbing myself with this damn dental pick here. There we go. Okay, and I managed to do all that without locking it up again. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to shim this thing just because I don't know what's in there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm probably pulling all over the place here. Shim doesn't even want to go in there. Let's see if I can come in from the side. Oh, oh, pushing the core out. Okay, got the shim in there at least. All right, Find a follower that works. the right one. Wow, look at there, a trap. It looks like trap pins in there, or trap holes. 
Very interesting. All right. Pins are sticky in there. not sprayed any lube in this thing and one is standard and two is standard and three is standard standard and pin five I'm sure is standard as well it is okay well, let's see what the driver pins look like okay pin one is standard and two is a spool like little thing. I'll show the pins after here instead of fighting with the autofocus. Pin three is a standard. Oh, no, well, there is a serration on there. The springs are protruding. Push the springs down to get the follower through so I can get to the back pins without wrecking my springs. Okay. Pin five is a standard. Wow. I guess I am just horrible at being able to tell the difference here. And pin five has, or four, Interesting. Oh, look at there. How cool. So maybe that's what was going on here. Come on. So it's actually a pin in pin. And pin four. Wonder if pin three is that way too. Nope. I saw another one in there. Okay. Pin two is a also a pin and pin. Very, very cool. That's why it was pretty challenging to pick. That's that's pretty impressive. That's a stock lock and I believe we ordered it off of Amazon when we bought it it's like I said the the brand is gatehouse it was a two-piece combo set the lock and the lock and the um, what you call it so now the question so let's see if if you picked it. I'm not sure. I th I thought these were designed to be traps if for somebody that's picking, but the uh, holes are too small for the pins to lock into. And the pin and pin let's see here now so this pin and pin feature could create a trap I'm trying to think through that in my brain here how Uh, 
how that could work out. So I suppose Gosh, I don't know guys. I really thought that was going to be some kind of a trap, those holes. But even if... Well, let's... So, pin... Two and four... Are the ones with these pins, that's what they look like inside the core. So I sp maybe this one isn't deep enough, but this one might actually be deep enough if you sat and picked that and fumble it around long enough and got it to turn to unlock counterclockwise when unlock it on the door, you could actually get stuck in this trap and then your door is seized up. This one, actually this one's just, maybe, it might go by the, might go by the shear line, but I don't think so. So if you manage to pick around at this long enough and got it, this top piece pushed up, but I don't know. If any of you guys have any more information on that, I'd be curious to know, or if you know a great video to go watch and learn more on it, I'm sure... I, I actually bought this lock just before I got into lock sporting. So I wasn't really paying much attention to what I was buying or what I was doing with it, but looks like I got lucky and ordered one that actually has some security pins in it. Very, very cool. So here's the pins. These here guys are the pin and pin. <clears throat> and it's a hole, so when it's, it doesn't protrude down below when they're together. They just, uh, short of that so interesting it might be some fun for some challenge locks to make some pins like that and understand what's going on all right so uh stay tuned i'll probably do a part two video on this whole project of mine and we'll see what i end up putting together so thanks for watching guys um if you like what you see please like and subscribe and don't forget to keep it legal and if you don't respect the keyhole, shouldn't put your pick in there. Thank you.